Want to go up to uh, Philadelphia Citizens Bank Park, and there sits Debbie Taylor, and right to her left is Matt Caps. The Nats have three wins, and Matt's got three saves. Debbie, great to see you. Great to see Matt as well. Oh, thanks so much, Johnny. And yes, that's a good combination. Three wins, three saves for you, Matt. Had to make for a nice bus ride down here from New York yesterday. What was that like? Travel day is always a good day to win. It makes the, uh, you know, the two-hour bus ride go by a lot quicker, and guys are in a better mood, and, you know, it just makes it work a lot easier. What's it been like for you being a member of the Nationals? It's been good so far. I think we have a good group of guys. There's good team chemistry, and uh, everybody gets along with each other. Everybody pulls for each other, and um, you know that's that's what you find on winning teams: guys that get along and guys that play well together. And you know now we're we just got to translate that into on-field performance. And you know I think it's coming. I'm I'm liking the way we're playing right now, and got to ride this momentum. And you know it's it's the first week of the season, so let's carry it throughout six months. I like, too, how you guys seem to help each other out. I was talking to Tyler Walker this morning, and he said that you two have a deal that if you see things that are similar that you're doing wrong or doing right, you're going to mention it to each other. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's not just me and Tyler. You know, as a team, for us to be good and to be successful, uh, when we th see things with anybody, we've got to, you know, there's got to be an open line of communication, and you've got to have that trust and that confidence in one another that, you know what, if I am doing something and somebody sees it, they're going to be the ones that tell me about it. I'm not going to have to find out the hard way and uh, deal with the, the loss or, or struggles on the field and then go watch it on video when, you know, my third baseman could have come up and said, hey, you're flying open or the catcher. Uh, but it just worked out well with me and Walker. Both of us are very similar in our mechanics. And, um, you know, when I was struggling in spring training, it was kind of the same things he was struggling with. So, you know, we recognize that, and it was kind of like, you know what, when, when things are going good, I do the same things you do when, when you're going good. So uh, he saw something on me a couple of days ago and made a, made a mental note of it and then said something to me, and uh, it turns out I went and watched a video, and he was right on. So, you know, there's kind of a little pack there between the two of us, but, you know, like I said, for us to be successful, it's got to be that way with all 25 guys. Before I let you go, I want you to tell me something about yourself that the fans in D.C. don't already know. I'm, uh, I'm pretty shy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a naturally shy person. As a kid, it would have killed me to be on TV or to be in front of a bunch of people. And uh, my dad kind of beat that out of me as, uh, at a young age. And, you know, I've kind of come out of my shell a little bit. But I'm naturally a pretty shy person. Well, you're doing a great job, Matt. Thank you so much. Let's go back to Johnny and Ray with some more on Matt Caps, the Mad Capper, and what he's been doing well, guys.